for baseball at Bob Walker Stadium. Hunter Wilson is back in town with Oral Roberts as the Golden Eagles and 10th ranked Arkansas Razorbacks meet in a midweek game. Starter Marshall Denton. Marshall Denton is going to be one of those guys. It's going to be in that sidearm delivery, that 83 to 87 mile an hour Bad fastball. Time, so it's at a lot of young players, and that's what you're going to get out of young guys is some inconsistency. Start in left. You see McFarland at first, Kenley over at third, Ezell at second base, so a different looking alignment. Zach Plunkett behind the plate. Nice and a real nice ovation for Hunter Wilson. Yeah, you beat me to it. Uh, Hunter Wilson was always a fan favorite of Arkansas fans, and I, I really like that ovation they just gave him. Riding a horse right okay. now, doesn't he? Oklahoma native. Hits a little tapper, knocked down by Denton. Nearly jackknifed right in front of the mound, but makes the play and retires Wilson. A lot of those polls really look at what you do in a midweek game. Washington Jr. now turning and running, fighting the sunshine, leaping high, and he keeps it in the yard. But Hall will easily score. And McCutcheon going to third. And the throws off line, and Oral Roberts in front one to nothing. Still couldn't tell. Here's another play. Coffee hits one to deep left. This one's long gone, and it's 3-0 Golden Eagles. They're the real deal. Hard hit up the middle, and that's a base hit from Riley Kaiser. Featured him in the open with a couple of homers last year in this building. There's the first strikeout for Denton. Second out of the inning. They've just taken this Baum Walker crowd completely out of this ball game. That's a swing, and that's a strikeout. So Denton able to strand Kaiser at third base. Good work, Caleb Lee, and he's... Had some good work on the hill tonight, although that one is ripped to right for a base hit. The first from the Hogs in the game. Yeah, Lee left that ball out over the plate. Quick appeal to first, no swing. and Missed down with the fastball, and the bases are loaded. Right to Coffey at third. The throw's a little bit low, and a scoop at first by Henson saves a couple of runs. Marshall Denton won a couple of innings. He'll be replaced by Elijah Trest here in the third. Play for Casey Martin. He came completely around that baseball and throws out Wilson. Martin is so fast, he was... Coffey sends another one in the air, but Washington Jr. only has to move a couple of steps back and to his left to end the inning. So Trast works around a walk and puts up a zero. I think that Dave Van Horn knew the importance of that ball game. That's why you saw Cody Scroggins. That one sent towards the gap in right center. Let's see if Martin might be able to get to third. Sprinting around second base, down three runs. He will not risk making it out of third. But that is music to the ears of Razorback fans hearing that hard contact of the ball. Arkansas to bloop something in. Single to center. Martin will round third and easily score the first Arkansas run of the game. And Matt Goodhart delivers again. RBI number 16, much to the delight of the hog pen. And that is a one-out walk. When they, when they just, just like trying to throw a kid in the deep end and he doesn't know how to swim. Ball four, Washington Jr. with his second just kind walk. of spit on him at this point. Runner's not going on the payoff, and Ezell will walk again. So a patient hitter. High in the air to right. Back towards the fence. And four will score on a grand slam from Kerstad. One big swing has put the Razorbacks in front. That ball, quite frankly, just got up in the sky and disappeared. That was one high towering home run. I thought it went over the scoreboard, but I think it, I think it hit off the scoreboard. You knew when it left the bat that it was hit well. You can see that high leg kick and that big whip with that Barrel that bat. Heston knew he hit it pretty well. I don't think Swift saw the baseball. No, he just he just didn't know where it went. I think it hits off. Of Cole Ramage enters the game. Yeah, it's a little interesting to see Ramage come in. It's a 
opportunity for him to get an inning or two. About the highlights of Hunter Wilson's career with Arkansas. Probably the biggest one was a grand slam that he hit in the Southeastern Conference Tournament. That was just smokes one to right for a base hit here. Ball hit on the button right there by Wilson. Up the middle and past the diving Martin. Casey spun his wheels a bit in that dirt before he lunged to his left, but that's back-to-back -back singles. The barrel, get a little depth on that pitch. Serve towards left center field. Fletcher on the move. He will not get there. It's up off the fence, and this is going to tie the game. At least it should. Martin's throw to the plate will bounce. In diving is Henson. The ball kicks away. So Coffey will go to third, and he will make it safely. And we're even at five. Up here in the fifth, looking to regain the advantage. Ball gets away. And Coffey is going to score. Oh, my goodness. That's how ORU will score the go-ahead run. Sometimes a little more aggressive when you get your opportunity. He will take the walk. So but You're just going to veer off into shallow right field. That was the invitation. Almost has to throw a fastball here, doesn't he? And that one's turned around in a hurry. Going to go to the fence. Opitz gets a late stop sign and will hold, but the game is tied at six. Knows. He's almost got a photographic memory. Opitz will try and score, and that's how the go-ahead run will come home for Arkansas. Batting practice, and he just carried it over into the ball game with a big hit. Ezell will smoke one in the gap. This ball is down. It's going to go to the track. Washington Jr. scores easily on a double from Ezell, and it's an 8-6 Arkansas lead for Casey tonight. A walk, a strikeout, and a double. And another base hit for Martin. It'll score Ezell with the fourth run this inning. We'll start with the new pitcher, Kevin Copps. Copps, I mentioned he pitched both games in that doubleheader at Auburn. Kenley tested immediately. Good play. One out. For 10 hours by himself. And the best part is. Damage right here if they're going to come back in this game. Hard hit, but right to Martin. Squirts out of his glove, and that'll be the second air on Casey in the Ball game. Carries out over your head. Cops gets the strike out of Coffee. Boy. By Cops and into center. But definitely has juice in the bat to take it out of the park. Hard hit, right to Martin. And they get again. Quick enough with those hands to react on an inside pitch like that. Fair into the corner, third hit for Martin. He's off to the races. And Casey's gonna round second. It's awfully tough to triple on the ball into the left field corner, and he thought about it. Hope that they can hold that lead to three. Wilson backing up, and the ball will drop in front of McCutcheon, who just came into the game. Fletcher called safe at second. Yeah, he's, he, I, that didn't help things. Goodness gracious. That's, I don't think. that's a cross-up right there. This may drop. This will drop. Everybody moves up 90 feet on the base hit and RBI from Kenley plating Martin. Well, sometimes you hit the ball on the button. This one sent towards the gap, and it'll be caught. McCutcheon able to track it down. Fletcher will tag and score in the sack fly. A really good play by McCutcheon. Able to evaluate talent at the high school and level. And back-to-back -back strikeouts from Swift. He K'd open. Colin Taylor's going to get another opportunity. He's pitched an inning in two-thirds. Oh, that's just ridiculous numbers. Well, Vitello has been known for recruiting, and that is his forte. ORU last scored in the fifth. Wilson clubs one high and deep to right, and that one must feel good as he sends one beyond the bullpen. That ball was absolutely crushed by Hunter Wilson. His second home run of the season comes in his return to Bomb Walker Stadium. And even the Razorback fans are cheering Hunter Wilson. Let me hit that ball over the bullpen. He tips his hat to the crowd. Crushed. Watch the reaction right there. What oh, a bad goodness. flip. Wow. 
Get the orange wedges after the game. Kerstad makes a bid for a second home run towards the wall and left, and it's going to go. Wu Pig Suey, the second of the game from Heston Kerstad. Grand slam in the fourth and a long solo homer here. Well, he's starting to make a bid to get on that All-American list with balls like that. That ball was absolutely lit. The thing about Kerstad is he has power to all fields. He knew that ball was hit pretty well. Off the bat, I thought it was going to travel farther than it did. It's kind of that heavy nine. I think it kind of ricochets off the. By the way, in the league last year. Four hit night for Casey Martin. And this is one of these games we might look back on in two weeks He's or a had month. Kind of play his whole deck. He's going to be tired at the end of a game. Wilson will charge, scoop, and throw one by the first baseman, McCutcheon, and it went into the dugout. Well, Henson challenged Goodhart. You knew that power was there. He's not a big home run hitter. Got one he liked, got great extension. He hit it pretty well. They had to turn around, travel the next day, and play Thursday at Auburn. Slipping is Martinez, and Nesbitt will be the beneficiary of an infield base. Well, Kate Monk enters the game. It's only Monk's fourth appearance on the season. Right there. And he didn't have a team. He doesn't want that. Nesbitt across to his up. Is that caught cleanly? It was a strikeout. In the air to right, and this will do it. Right at the four-hour mark, Arkansas with three different four-run innings defeats ORU 15-8.